Mm, hello, 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 my beautiful air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Also, um, feel free to exchange the energies as you may from staying as you and you feel this your person. Switch it. Also, I may say he, she, her, him. I'm not speaking about actual people unless I stated I'm speaking about masculine and feminine energies. Um, anything else, you guys? Oh, yeah, don't forget. You guys came in second place, you guys, for the um, elements. So, you guys are getting the second video to come up. Don't forget to hit the little thumbs up button so that... Um, you guys can get more views so you can get the bonus video for your element. And also, don't forget to, to comment your sign down below, you guys, okay? So you can get the bonus video for your particular sign. I think you guys got a bonus video last time. But I think it was because Spirit led me. I don't think you guys won. But if you want a personal video, I think it was Aquarius that got a, um, a, a bonus video because Spirit led me. But if you guys want a bonus video for just your particular sign, don't forget to comment down below. It was Pisces and Taurus last week. But you guys did win the element. I believe you guys were, their sign was the element. So, good job on that, you guys. Let's see if we can keep you guys at least in the element bonus for another two weeks. Last turn. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's get into this. Okay, so this, guys, is um, the Mystical Wisdom deck. I'm going to pull one card from here. And then I'm also going to pull one card from my Work Your Light deck. This is for my air signs. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Can I get one card, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for my air sign. I just need one card, and I need it to jump. What do they need to know right now for the elements of air? The overall major energy for my air signs. And I just need one. What do they need to know for the greatest and highest good? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, that's too many, y'all. It was good fortune on the top, but that was like six, six, six or seven cards. I just need one. Thank you. Okay, so two fell out. We'll take those two. And then I'm going to pull one more from the other deck. And I'm going to read these cards directly from the book, okay? This is from the Work Your Light Oracle deck here. This is for my air signs. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. What wisdom and knowledge do they need to know? For their greatest and highest good. I'm setting intentions for a 30-day time period, you guys. So, um, whenever you see this video, 30 days from then, you know, to expect kind of... 30, 45 days around time range. Okay, one last time for my air signs. I'm curious, we were in Gemini. Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, you guys, let's get into this tea. Can I get one car spirit and can it jump? Thank you. And that was more than one, but I'll take them. Okay, so they feel like you guys needed two for both. Okay, so we'll start here at the top. The first card we have for you is Dragon. Discover your courage, okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you need to discover your courage. The second card we have for you is Celebration. Let go and have fun. So I do find, feel like you guys possibly have been holding back, um, not really letting your light shine. Um, all work, no play here. It's holiday time. I feel like Spirit is saying it's time you can let down your guard, let your hair down. Not necessarily let your guard down, but let your hair down. Get out, have fun. Enjoy this time here. Celebrate with family and friends, okay? I do feel like there is something that you have been thinking about doing, unsure about moving forward on it. But Spirit is saying, find your courage. Move forward. Do this, okay? There's a blessing here. Okay, um, for the other deck here, we have boundaries. It says, where do you need to establish better boundaries? There may be someone here that you need to establish or something, boundaries that need to be established here in your life, okay? Um, and then the last card we have for you guys is deep replenishment. Retreat, rest, be held. Hmm. So I feel like with this celebration and this retreat, you need to get out and do something for yourself. Whether it's going out having a party or going out to a party, going out to a club, you know, with Corona, it's kind of hard to do all that. Maybe going out getting a facial, treating yourself a massage. But this is about self-love, nurturing yourself here, okay? My beautiful air signs, you need to put some love back into yourself right now. 
And as far as this, these boundaries, I feel like, um, and discovery of courage, I feel like there's someone around you that could possibly be trying to um, take advantage of your kindness. Pulling, 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 pulling. Spirit is saying it's time for you to set boundaries here. Okay? Don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to say no when you mean no. Don't be, you know what I'm saying? If it's yes and you mean yes, say yes. Don't say yes when you really mean no, okay? Speak up. Stand up for yourself, okay? So where is the books? So we'll start here, and I'll hold the book up for you. I mean the card up. The dragon. Okay, so the first card we have here is dragon. Let me hold it up for you guys to see. And it says, discover your courage. The dragon represents courage, strength, and fortitude. The dragon is victorious in any situation and serves as a powerful guide and guardian in all endeavors. Victory comes in emotional triumph and healing of old wounds or completion of a project. A surprise is looming for you that will create one of the most wonderful moments of your life. This is a message of glorious accomplishments that will set the standards for years to come. Congratulations. Um, the mantra for this card is, my desire is coming to fruition. So whatever you've been working on, whatever you've been trying to manifest, it's coming. Spirit saying it's coming. And it's, gonna, it's going to be more than what you even imagined here, okay? <laughs> and it's going to cause you this celebration. It's going to bring celebration into your life here, Air Signs, okay? Spirit says, congratulations. You, you have arrived. <laughs> okay, so celebration. Let go and have fun. Now is the time to celebrate a special event and have some fun. Get ready for a party, wedding, graduation, a job promotion, or festivity. This is the time to celebrate and be joyful. This is a special moment to spend with family and friends in a positive and uplifting environment. Let go of worry and doubt and focus on the abundance available to you right now. Eat, drink, dance, be merry, and enjoy the pleasures and memories that these special occasions bring. The mantra for this is, I enjoy special moments with my loved ones and friends. Okay? So, yes, get out and have some fun. Um, whatever this endeavor is that's coming in to um, bring you this great reward here could possibly be celebrating that. Um, having family and friends out and about. Someone could possibly be getting married. Someone could possibly be having a baby here. Someone could be opening a business here. Boundaries. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I have to look it up. 38. Page 38. 38. That's 35. 37. 38. Here we go. Okay, so with the boundaries here, but I do feel like you might have to set some boundaries when this comes in as well. Okay? Um, a lot of people might have their hands out. I do feel like you might have a big financial blessing coming here. And there's going to be a lot of people with their hands out asking, asking, asking here. Um, you're going to have to learn how to say no. You can't help everybody. Um, use your intuition for who to help. Your, your 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 gut feeling will tell you who's really in need and who's trying to play you and get over, okay? So it says, where do you need to establish better boundaries? You are being called to create clearer boundaries in your life. This could be with your friends, family, or work. Saying yes when you really mean no leads to resentment, which is the biggest energy drain ever. At first, it might be a little bit and not feel like a big deal. But before you know it, your energy field becomes porous and you are left feeling depleted, resentful, or taken advantage of. Saying no and having clear boundaries is actually a spiritual act. The most giving, loving, compassionate people are those with the clearest boundaries. For when they say yes, they are able to give unconditionally. When your boundaries are clear, others know where they stand and you are able to give freely. If you are not clear where your boundaries lie, this causes confusion, resentment, and energetic cords to be planted. If you are saying yes when you really mean no, you are likely needing something yourself. Ask yourself, what part of me needs something from them? It could be a need for approval, a fear of being seen a certain way, or a fear of loss. The best way to gauge your boundaries is to check in with your belly. Your belly is the second brain. It has an intelligence known as your gut feelings. 
Tune into this space when deciding what is okay for you. How does it feel? What is it trying to communicate with you? And the inquiry, the work your light inquiry here is, where in your life do you need to establish better boundaries? So you may need to sit down and do an overall check of your life to figure out where you need to establish better boundaries. Where are you staying and committing yourself to things that you really don't want to? Okay, you need to readjust here. I feel like you're giving yourself to too many people. This is why you need to have this time to retreat, to come and and and, and celebrate yourself. Also to give your also to give yourself some time to rest. Okay, um, let me find it in the book first, and then I'll hold the card back up for you guys. Um, sixty four. Okay. So this one says, um, deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be healed. The most selfless thing you can do is fill up your own inner well. When we are running around half filled, we subconsciously look to things and people around us to give us the nourishment and nurturing that we so deeply crave. Nothing can grow in barren lands. You are no good to anyone if you're running on empty. The feminine is bountiful fertile and rich tend to your own will and watch as the amount you have to give multiplies if your inner will isn't full you will find yourself craving things from the outside world to fill it this is your body's instinctive way of reaching for the grounding and nurturing that we are not allowing ourselves what nourishes you what refuels your body what is the nectar for your soul what brings you back to life? What is your secret medicine? What makes you feel abundant and fertile, overspilling with life? It may be gardening, arranging flowers, getting a massage, you're using luxurious essential oils, snuggling up on the couch, hiking, sipping a good cup, uh -uh, excuse me, sipping a good coffee at your favorite cafe. Attending a woman's circle, reading about sacred sites, spontaneous bike rides, walking along the beach, or yin yoga. What nourishes you is your medicine. When you give yourself the medicine that you need to be nourished, you nourish all those around you for there is more than enough to go around. And your work your life action says, do something that deeply replenishes you today. Okay? So, whenever you see this, go out and do something that replenishes you. Whether it's take a walk, get out to nature, go get your nails done. Um, if you're a man, you can get a, a go play basketball. You know, some men do get their, their pedicures, you know, manicure. I, I, you know, I like a well-groomed man. So, yeah. Um, but go do something to treat yourself, okay? We're going to sit these. Let's see if we can get them all up here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Will this one stand up right there? Yes, it will. Okay, so we're going to go to the Psychic Tarot. We're going to pull three cards from the Psychic Tarot, and then we're going to pull three cards from the uh, Psychic Love Tarot deck. And we're going to go from there and see what we got here for you guys. Let's get into it. This could have to deal with your love life. This could do with your career. This could do with your finances. This could do with family members. Okay, it's just the strongest energy around you. What you need to know right now for your greatest and highest good. Okay, this is for my air signs. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Thank you. Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can I get three cards and I need them to jump spirit? It's for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. What do they need to know for their greatest and highest good? Two more spirit for the curious Libra in Gemini. What do they need to know? I need it to jump for their greatest and highest spirit. For their greatest and highest good spirit. One more. Thank you. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have fertility. Um, I feel like people are giving birth to something new here. Um, could be pregnancy. But I, I feel like this is about nurturing yourself here, masculine or feminine. This is about giving back to you, starting something new, but putting into you, healing you, okay? So the first card we have out for you guys is accelerated motion. I do feel like something's going to take off very quickly. 
We have deception and envy. We have choose wisely. And then the extra card that fell down for you was the emotional withdrawal. We'll get into this, you guys, as soon as I pull. Oh, shoot. From the other deck. This wasn't even supposed to be in this deck. You may need to balance, too, you guys. Because that was the balance card. It was stuck in this deck. It don't even belong in this deck. Okay. Um, There could possibly be someone around you. Or there's going to be people around you after this this thing that comes in this birth. That's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of deception and envy envious people, okay? Um Spirit is saying you're gonna have to choose wisely about who you deal with. I, I do feel like because like in the other cards, I do feel like a lot of people are gonna have their hands out here, okay? Begging. I do feel like you're coming into a large sum of money here. Some kind of big something big, okay? Something where people are gonna be envious of this thing that you got, okay? Um and I feel like you are gonna have to make some choices about who you deal with, okay? Um, and I do feel like with this emotional withdrawal, you may have to cut off people that you're close with or you thought were close to you and they really weren't. They were, they were there just for the come up. They were really truly deceptive and envious behind your back here. Okay, can I get three cards for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini? Huh? Yeah. Dreams coming true. Accelerating motion. Balance again. See, I knew. I knew that balance that fell out over there. Yep. 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 You gonna have to, yep. Okay. Can I get one more spirit? Yep. One more. Thank you. Yep. Pay attention. Observe. Okay. Mm-hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we have feeling alone. So I do feel like this goes with this emotional withdrawal. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna take it. And now we have detached at the bottom, okay? Um... I do feel like you're going to have to detach. You're going to have to pull away from a lot of people. You have something very beautiful going to come in here. My, my beautiful air signs. Um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. And this is for cuspers too. So, yes, look. And it's coming in quickly. Dreams are coming true. Your dreams are coming true. I do feel like there's some type of, look, the dragon. The dreams coming true. Everything here is celebration. Whatever you have been wishing for, asking for, it is, I mean, it's here. Celebrating when it's coming in. But once it comes in, the people, there are going to be people around you, the people that are going to come out the woodwork here that are going to have their hands out. Spirit is saying you're going to need to retreat. You're going to have to pull away from these people, okay? Um, and you're going to have to balance out yourself, balance out your energy here, um, so that you can actually hear your intuition. So you know, I do feel like you want to help people. And I do feel like once you get this, um, this, this money, cause I feel like it's a large sum of money here that you are going to help people. But spirit is saying, choose wisely, choose who you have around you, choose who you help here. Okay. Um, and this, even if this is not money, if this is you starting a business here and about hiring people, I'm hearing, I'm here, pay attention to those that's in your circle. Observe. Okay. Observe those that are around you. Could be four people plotting against you Four people. Trying to get in um, for people that you have to choose between. But I do feel like there are, there is some somebody, someone or several people around you that are that are deceptive that are deceptive. And I do feel like once you get the truth, because I do feel like truth is coming out here. Um, it's, it's going to affect you a little bit because you're going to have to pull back. You're going to have to withdraw. And you possibly are going to be feeling alone at this time when this happens here, okay? Or you could be feeling alone right now. You could be possibly be in an emotional withdrawal right now. But you're going to come out of this with this accelerated emotion and these dreams coming true. I do feel like you could put... put oh, my tongue is tight. Sorry. I do feel like you could have possibly... Um, went into hermit mode, withdrew yourself from the people around you because you could have possibly already felt this energy. It just depends on where you are in, at in this story, okay? Where you your energy falls along the energy line here, timeline. You could just be finna start this. You could be in the middle of this. You could be coming out of this, finna get the reward because you did the work because you cut the people off here. Okay, so let's get this deck here. We're going to see... You guys forget the kids in the background. You guys already know, especially if you've been rocking with me for a while. The grandkids. And y'all know the little one, the girl, shoot. She attitude, so she always yelling and screaming. So if you hear in the background crying, ain't nothing wrong with her. She just a crybaby. 
Okay? Please forgive her. And then she's the baby. She likes to, to beat up on her brother. So, you know. Okay. This is for my air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini spirit. Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can you guys hold on a second? I just need to get a swig of water. And don't be tri tri tripping off my jug if y'all see my water jug because I drink a gallon of water every day. And that's the only way I can make sure that I drink the whole gallon. But it's personal. I don't share it with anybody. <laughs> it's my own personal bottle. So, okay. Look, at the bottom of the, of the deck, Page of Pentacles, a new beginning, or someone coming in with an offer, some type of offer. Hold on, guys. Sorry, you guys. I had to go into grandparent mode for just a second. Uh, I was saying that this um, person could possibly want to bring in like some small token or some type of Beginning. This is the beginning of something very good here, okay? <laughs> okay, so what is this accelerated motion for my Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini? Somebody's been holding back, or you've been feeling like there was some type of lack here, okay? But I do feel like it's no longer. Things are going to pick up here. You could have felt like there was a lack in your money. You've been holding on tight. Holding on to your, 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 your finances. Um, With this COVID and people not being working, I feel like you've possibly been... Um, what's the word I'm trying to get? Robbing Peter to pay Paul to stay above float here. But I do feel like I said earlier, you went into hermit mode. You withdrew. This could be from a relationship as well, okay? Um, but you withdrew from something. You, you, you went within yourself to do some healing here. You, you're holding back. Or you've been holding back. You could have possibly been praying to God about your finances here. And your prayers are finally being answered. Your money is finna increase here. I do feel like you've been doing a lot of um, spiritual work on yourself. Healing past issues here. Moving forward. Possibly could be cleaning up a lot of deception and lies from your past as well. What's this deception and envy spirit? Yeah, someone around you is, is, is not happy about your success. That's either finna come in. It's with the justice in reverse. So this is not being balanced. They're, they're unhappy. They, they feel like you're, you got the world. You know what I'm saying? They can't understand how you got the world. I'm, I'm recording. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this person can't understand how things keep turning out for you. How, how it, it keeps working out for you. No matter um, what the situation is, you still keep coming out on top. But you're connected. You're connected to God. God got you. That's why you keep coming out on top here. <laughs> and this is why the people around you um, are jealous or are a little envious of you, of how things always turn out for you. Look, yeah. But I feel like you've been through a lot here. I feel like um, this is not something that came easy to you. You've had a lot of stressful nights, a lot of sleepless nights. And you could be um, stressed out and, and going through um, sleepless nights right now about this situation or this person. Or people who you have to choose from. Because like I said, this could be about a situation, a love situation here that you withdrew from. And you went within yourself to heal because it wasn't balanced. This person could have possibly had a lot of choices and options as well. And now you're in an emotionally distressed place here, okay? Um, can't sleep, can't eat. Just really stressed out. One more card. Thank you. Yeah, it could have been dealing with a masculine energy here, the King of Pentacles. But also, you, like I said, this could be about your work, about your business. You could be stressed out about it, um, stressed out about a start, stressed out about starting a business, stressed out about finances not coming in for this business, worried about if this business is going to um, ever pick up. It's been coming in, but it's been coming in slowly. It feels like it hasn't been balanced, but I do see. Um, you using your intuition to make some choices here, which is going to balance out um, the balance here, which is going to balance out your finances. There's something that's coming in, some type of action is going to come in that you're not going to be stressed anymore. I also feel like if this is a love situation, after um, you healing yourself, after this unbalanced situation here and going through all of this turmoil, you started working on yourself. You started putting the energy into your own finances, your own your own energy into you here. What's this emotional withdrawal from my Aquarius Libras? Mm -hmm. With this um 
with the four of wands here this is talking about some type of commitment long-term commitment some type of celebration here um you could have withdrew from this commitment because it wasn't stable you could have withdrew from this commitment because there was a lot of choices and options somebody didn't choose you here um you're holding back because of this this caused you a lot of this this commitment this relationship caused you a lot of turmoil and and, and a lot of hurt here I get one more card for the four of wands and the emotional withdrawal. Yeah, you walked away from this relationship to heal yourself. Okay. Okay. So what's this? Um. Hold on, guys. I was I'm listening to see if there, if there was another storyline here. That's all. So if I get quiet like that, you guys, it's just because I'm I'm listening to see if they, if they want me to speak about anything else, if they're showing me a different story before I go. Okay, so I am getting here that there was someone here who was holding back. Somebody went within themselves. They've been talking to God. They did a lot of healing because something was not balanced in the past. They have been stuck in their emotions and feelings. Had a lot of sleepless nights, but I do feel like they do um. Have some stability and a commitment coming in after a period of rest and healing, okay? So if you're single and you went through this and you're out of this and you, you're wondering if you have somebody new coming in, yes, someone is coming in after this period of healing and rest here. Your dreams are coming true. You are going to get a balanced relationship, okay? But pay attention to the people that are around you. You're no, you're no longer going to have this alone feeling. So you do have someone coming in here. What is this um, dreams coming true, spirit? For my Aquarius, Libras, and Gemini's. Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it was the devil in reverse here. So I do feel like this is no longer being controlled or manipulated by finances. No longer feeling le uh, a lack or obsessed by um this situation here. Yeah, whether it was your finances, whether it was your business, whether it was this love situation, no longer um. Holding on to the to the negativity from that, releasing it. And because you released it and healed from this, this is why your dreams are finna come true. Whether this is um, finances, whether this is love, whether this is both. That's a lot, y'all. Can I get one card for the devil in reverse and dreams coming true? Okay. Okay, so yeah. You have the uh, King of Wands, a very passionate, strong, masculine energy coming in here. But this is a love relationship, um, divine connection here. This is what's coming forth towards you. This could also be um, coming together as business partners, um, coming together to a new company here. Um, but you having the strength to move forward. You having the strength to heal is what's causing these dreams to come true. It could be a fire sign coming towards you as well. Um, Leo, Aries, or Sag, okay? But this is finally getting your just doing. This is coming quickly. This is this is either finances, love, or both coming in quickly to help you balance out what you felt was unbalanced. Look. On top of each other. Look. Hold on. See? This is unbalanced here to balanced. So you're leaving this unbalanced situation alone. Whoever was deceptive and, and envious, whoever had the third party situation, whoever wasn't putting into this, whoever wasn't giving, whoever wasn't um, giving an equal give and take an equal balance situation here, you walked away from that. And it hurt, it healed, but you do have this, this stable person coming in that wants to offer you this commitment after this period of rest. This person is a divine um a divine connection here. This person is passionate and, and loving and um, strong. I feel like, um, and handsome too. He daddy-ish. Okay, but um, this is just the masculine energy. She could be beautiful, okay, but this is somebody that's beautiful or very handsome. You know, this is, this is like wish fulfillment. This is what you've been asking for, praying for, wishing for, your dreams coming true. What is this balance for my Aquarius, Libra, and, and Gemini? I almost said Sag. You could be dealing with a Sag, okay? Balance for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. And I needed to jump. What is this balance? That is way too many spirits. I just need one, maybe two. Thank you. Uh-huh. 
You're finna have the balance here. You're finna have the balanced family, longevity, the um, the house, the kids, the generational wealth, um, stability here, the balance, equal give and take between the masculine and the feminine in this situation here. Okay. Can I get one more for the? Thank you. Yep. This is a positive movement forward. This is getting good karma here. This is your karma coming back for you. Like I said, I feel like this is really good, okay? And it's coming in quickly. Now, this this also could be your finances. As you can see, this is the pinnacle. This could be your money increasing as well as the family. Like, I keep feeling like you guys are getting both. You're not just getting the love increase, but you're getting the financial increase as well. This is a whole new cycle for you. Your luck is changing, Okay, whole new beginning here, like celebration. Look, celebrating this whole new beginning after this period of emotional losses, after this period of withdrawing and healing yourself here. Okay, after this period of feeling alone or, or, or being alone. What is this observed spirit for my Aquarius? Thank you, Libra and Gemini. Look, this is wish fulfillment, and it fell over here on top of the um dreams coming true. This is you getting what you've been wishing for, wishing upon a star. You could have possibly actually really wished upon a star for this, okay? And it is now coming to fruition. What is this observed spirit for my Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini's? Thank you. Yeah, I do feel like in the past, um, someone didn't have the strength to move forward. This person could still be in your energy here. They could possibly want to come forward. But pay attention, okay? This is where these choices and options come in, okay? Could be dealing with a Leo. This fire observe and strength in reverse. Okay. So this person, um, <laughs> they didn't have the strength to come forward yet, right? <laughs> but they do want um they want to get past this this conflict. So I do feel like this this is this could be your person from the past coming back, or this new person is coming in, um just hasn't found the nerve to come up and speak to you yet. They're, they're still a little confused. They don't know if you have a lot of choices and options here. But they do want to um, have a love relationship with you. They don't know if you're in a relationship. So they're just watching. They're paying attention. Could be watching your social media sites right now. Trying to get information about you here. But this is a 10 and a 10. The 10 of Pentacles and the 10 of Cups. The 2 of Cups, right? This is all about a soulmate divine connection. This is about... Um, emotional stability, financial stability, real love here. You got the sun and the star, healing, blessings, okay? It cannot get any better than this. It's, it's, it's beautiful, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. I'm kind of happy I'm an Aquarius cuss, baby, you know? That's a lot, spirit. Yeah, okay, so I'll take it, though. Um... Something happened in the past that you're feeling alone. You walked away, you guarded because you didn't get the passion in the beginning that you thought you were going to get. So you walked away to heal yourself. That's why you're in this feeling alone feeling. But I don't feel like you're going to be feeling alone any, any any longer. This is coming in quickly. Can I get one more card for this uh, feeling alone? Thank you. Yep, like I said, this person is just watching right now, okay? So um, this person is watching. They're not moving forward with truth and clarity yet. But they're, they are going to be coming in quickly, okay? They're, they're trying to get the nerve up. They're getting the nerve up to, to come forward and speak their truth. Whether this is somebody you already know or whether it's somebody new. Okay? So you could possibly have some type of platform, um, social media site, anything that, that you are seeing on. And they're watching you there. They're trying to see if you're involved with anybody. Um, but they do want to come in and bring the stable commitment here. They want to bring love. They do want to offer this marriage or long-term commitment, whatever you're into. But it's traditional here. Emotional stability, financial stability here. Okay, Spirit. So this is for my Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini's. One final message. This is the fortune-telling to row here, you guys. The fortune-telling cards. Tipper deck. So... Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Any final messages for my Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini? One last shuffle. Thank you. Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Any final messages for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini? Any final messages?
Let me find the messages. Let me find the messages. Look, there is some Let me find the messages. Any final messages? Any final messages? Did something flip? Nope. Any final messages? Okay. So let's see here. So over here we have imprisonment. Somebody felt trapped in the past, okay? Um, no longer feeling stuck. No longer feeling stuck, trapped coming out of that, okay? Quickly, too. So I do feel like you did the he the healing, the work here, okay? So um, this is just showing that you're no longer stuck, no longer holding back. What we have here? So there has been a change here. Someone wants to come in and change the situation here, okay? Or your life is changing. Things are finna balance out. The sun here, okay, with the change card and the great fortune. Huh, your finances is changing. Things are finna balance out. You could be actually changing where you live, too. Huh, look, look, the house. Huh, you could be moving. You could possibly finna buy a house when you get this money. You could be changing apartments. Wherever you live, there is some great fortune coming in and something to do with your house, right? If you had some type of court case going on, this could be the settlement. You're winning the settlement. Um, if not, this is just about you getting justice. This could be karmic justice. But this is about you getting a balance that you didn't get in the past for whatever reason, whatever situation, okay? This is about getting your justice, your karmic balance here. Look, the mature woman and the wealthy man. I feel like this, um, the, one, uh, the, the feminine energy here could possibly be um, older. Or maybe just mature for their age. Don't necessarily have to be older. But this is someone who is just very mature for their age. And and the masculine here that's coming forth. This king of wands here. Energy here. Um, is the wealthy man. So this one, this person is coming forth. The emperor here. Um, it could be a business owner. Someone who who is financially sound. You know what I'm saying. They can take care of themselves. They can take care of you. Male or female. Okay you guys. This is just masculine energy here. But this person is, is set. They're straight. But I do see you guys coming into a new house or changing houses. I do see this, this larger money. Great fortune. This is a large amount of money coming in here. This is going to make a big difference. No longer feeling trapped or stuck by your finances. Money is no longer going to run your, your, your life. Okay? Like your money is going to pick up here and money will not be an issue. And you also got love here. Between the mature woman and this wealthy man. He may be... The masculine energy may be um, younger than the feminine en energy. But the masculine energy is well off. Okay? This person, like I said, he could possibly own property, own his own house. The mature woman here um, could possibly have her own money. Or he could possibly have his own money. But someone's coming into some money here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You're coming into some money. Could, like I said, there's going to be a big change. No longer feeling stuck. No longer feeling trapped. Moving towards great finances. So we're going to leave it here, you guys. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Spirit, just, <laughs> Spirit just took me to this here, right? Spirit said, detach. Detach from the past. Let that go. And trust. Trust that your blessings are on their way. Look, and it's zero. Brand new beginning here. Brand new beginning. Brand new start. All over. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful beginning. Blessings, blessings, blessings. It looks really good for you guys, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up so other air signs can get this video. Also, don't forget to comment your um, sign down below so you can get the bonus video for your particular sign. Um, I am available for personals. Um, please feel free to leave donations for those that have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's greatly appreciated because this is my only source of income. And this takes a lot of energy to do this for you guys, but I do appreciate it. If you can't leave a financial um, donation, hit the little thumbs up. That that works for me. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That works for me. It's an energetic exchange. It will come back, I promise you, ten times fold. Um, if you want to book a personal, that information is down below. I do have a Black Friday special going on. That information should be down below as well. And until next time, love, light, and peace, my peeps.